Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Um, it's not actually a turning video but please do listen to the first bit. I'm going to try and keep these as short as possible. Uh, la this last week I bought myself a scroll saw. It's the Record Power SS16V and I'll give a shout out to JP Woodworking, that's Jamie Page. Uh, his recommended this one for me. The very first day I got it, basically picked a scrap piece of wood up, hand wrote on the wood and just cut that piece out. So uh, quite impressed, it's just going to sit on the workshop. Um, it's my very first piece. So I'm, it's almost like another series now. I'm setting up like a scroll saw series, uh, which I will, they won't be my main videos. They'll be during the week as secondary videos and they will be labelled different so at least those who are not interested can quickly see from the title that it's a scroll saw video and obviously if you don't want to watch then um, it's it's entirely up to you but at the end of the video because I am so far ahead with uh, recording all my project videos for the wood turning I am going to probably give some previews or, or so, sort of what's coming up in on the channel during the next few few weeks Obviously, if you're a scroll saw user, uh, please, please do comment um, because there is so much I've got to learn and what's the best tricks and stuff like that to do things. So my first main pattern, um, and again, I will give another shout out. Um, JP put me on to, said, go and have a look for somebody called Steve Good on YouTube. He has at the moment over 2,000 free patterns on there so the first thing I've done is downloaded this hanging cat that you just hang from a from a shelf have a couple of dells in the paws there and it just hangs down from the shelf so what I've done here it's an old piece of ply it's about five mil thick uh, tips that I've picked up from just really watching a handful of videos um, I have first of all just covered the piece with masking tape uh, I didn't have any spray on glue or anything like that, so I basically just used a bit of Pritt stick, put on the back of the pattern after I cut it out, glued that to my masking tape, and I've now covered that with ordinary packing tape um, over the top. So the video for me on the scroll saw will some of, most of it will be speeded up, some will be in normal speed, especially the pieces that I want. Um, people to see what I'm doing so that they can give me more advice on so there'll be things like obviously like blade changing and stuff like that so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe because I mean I mainly do wood turning but now obviously doing some of the scroll saw work and at least that way you get notified every time I upload a video for my existing subscribers obviously I mean if you're interested in this a big big thank you very much for watching this as well so and again I'd appreciate it if everybody hit the share button hit the like button and please like I say do leave comments below because this is my first probably proper project and really do appreciate any feedback. So the first thing I've found here is these blades are very fiddly and it's not so much the Allen key. Um, what I find sometimes is that this part comes off from underneath and then feeding your work through there's not always enough space so you've got to somehow get your piece of work in there you've got a right small hole to get through Tight curves are certainly harder to get used to. So it's off with the tension. Loosen the blade off. That's how it's not brilliant, but I'm a total beginner. 